Uh, well, obviously, I take all the influences usually from horror films and horror genre characters, mostly, mainly, like like every every single time. Uh, there are some references to to you know you know some some metal bands like basically like shock rock bands. Like I, I would say like there's a lot of Kiss in my outfit always. Twisted Sister a little bit Wasp, Alice Cooper too. Um, well, the new look is a new look. It's straight from Milan, the catwalks of Milan. It's the spring fashion 2023 uh, <laughs> from the from the uh, designer house. <laughs> Your face is completely like 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 serious. So you think that I'm not joking? So you, uh, no, I'm I am joking. I'm okay. telling you, I'm joking. Um, it's uh, it's mainly influenced by, and this is funny. This costume is like the horror castle costume. It's like a uh, brick wall, stone brick wall, with gargoyles on top of, and uh, even even these so-called moomin houses, which are actually like the towers next to my head, and the gargoyles on top. So it's a, this is inspired by like like a Dracula's or Frankenstein's castle. This costume, that's where it comes from. A lot of gargoyles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's not that easy to come up with with new ideas for a lot of costume anymore because this is like I think this is rendition number 12 or 11 or something so so um, well but I thought you know since this album of all the characters and everything everything and the whole whole visual theme and even the loose thematic theme of the album is like horror movies and classic horror movies and even like universal monsters so it was easy to so there's a little bit of Dracula here in the face and there's a you know the old old Universal movie Horror Castle. It's main ins inspiration for the for the costume. They are se they are separated. They are, they are separate ideas. But but sometimes when something works on a previous one, I'm I like to use it again. So this time it is the rhinestones. Like uh, the, uh, my last costume that I that I wore the longest time on the ever in in Lori history, the so-called uh, collection costume had a lot of these rhinestones. So I liked it so much that I decided that the rhinestones will continue their journey with me again. So that's why there's rhinestones here too. Uh, but usually the costumes are are they're separate things. They are, it's not like a continuing story of costumes. It, it's not a the 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 character doesn't. Uh, evolve or it doesn't really you know it, it the costumes don't tell a chronological or logic story I like I remember at some point when I don't remember which, which character it was it from and which member it was from our band but somebody once said and this is like I don't know almost 10 years ago was, oh but how can Eamon all of a sudden have this on he said when he didn't have that last time or something like that well it has nothing to do with the previous costume, you know. It, it, it's, it's every time it's new, and it has to suit the, the the theme of the album that we are currently having. Yes, I'm. I'm basically. I'm the main designer of all the Glory costumes still. Uh, um, um, the, 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 all the all the decisions of the costumes and the main ideas they come from me, obviously. Um, well, they have the same theme as my my costume, so it is it is pretty much like um, um, they're all inspired by the classic Universal monsters and the classic horror movies. Like for example, Hela is 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 um, is very heavily influenced by Vampira and Elvira of the later days. You know, the, this like like gothic horror chick, um, very popular iconic character in in horror you know genre and culture uh, but she has a little bit of bit of uh, Adam's family Wednesday there not the new one because this is we already had the idea be before the whole Wednesday series started out but, and and you know things like that there's there's uh, mana definitely is like full-on Dracula now he's like a count manacula or whatever and um, um, he is our bass player. is very, very much uh, uh, now influenced by um, Creature from the Black Lagoon and also T Rex from Jurassic Park. And uh, whereas Kone on the album cover, 
he looks like a werewolf, but that would have been just fucking stupid to do a machine that is hairy, you know. So he's um, he's like just he's like version number two. He's like a he's just a cyborg, like undead, undead cyborg. That's what he is. Yeah. <laughs>